get the cork <laughs> out of the bottle. Hold on a second. Okay. Wow, this is really not wanting to play along. Well, it's gonna, I, I can feel it. It's gonna pop. It's gonna. Wow, no, it's not. <laughs> Be drinking this. Oh. Now I'm gonna make it look reasonable. All right. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <Oop>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're. Back. Uh, thanks for joining us on the Rec Show podcast. And it's just good to be in the studio because we've been out on the road like oh. every day, every day, every day. So yes. I'm kind of glad to just sit down and, <laughs> nice. and take a breather with our good friend, Carrie mm -hmm. Boyle, River City Wine. And uh, you're all over the place too. I mean, oh you're. My goodness, it's yeah. been a busy month. It has. It <laughs> it's has. It's been uh, such a busy month. It scares me to look at July. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, wineries are coming back in yeah. full force. You know, Ooh, I think they've yeah. been doing some serious planning while wow. we've all been hibernating. Yeah, you can say and, that again. Uh, yeah. yeah, there are yeah. lots of things going on. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, what what's the latest and greatest that you got going on? Um, well, I think we talked about. Prior to it happening, the Foothill Wine Fest just happened. Right, right, yeah. So that is um, a celebration of Sierra Foothill Wines, and we did mm -hmm. the judging on May 15th, I think. I don't right. know. All right. my days are running together. Um, but yeah, the results were published, and right. um, everything is moving forward. So for anybody who wants to know all the winners, you can <laughs> go to Foothill Wine Fest and download the entire list of winners right. um but oh, i did bring today some winning wine a I winning wine it. like the biggest winning wine yeah, it yeah. was best white wine of the show and the judges gave it a hundred points so wow. basically perfect well cheers, cheers. To that. and this is the skinner 2020 grenache blanc oh it smells it's mm. awesome with two what an aroma <laughs> mm. Mm. that is my favorite white wine for some okay podcast is over we're just gonna go sit down and have some okay <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, yeah. kidding just kidding and uh you know river city wine we, we've touched on it a little bit but you guys have kind of i want to say rebranded i guess is is the we, proper term uh, right? yeah because um you know big in-person wine uh tastings are not a thing of the mm -hmm. last year or the right now so right, right. we are actually working to put together some wine education classes that little wine education little wine yes. education some wine appreciation classes some um, classes okay. about the local wine regions which i think don't get represented right. in um you know learning scenarios and there so will be a test at there the will end. be a test yeah so yes. you know the wine regions, I always think that that would be a good test, right? Yeah. Name the wine regions that surround Sacramento. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to get everybody up up to snuff on that. Right. So, yeah, so we're doing that. And, of course, we're doing, you know, listing events. And we're putting out right. original recipes every week on Instagram right. and Facebook because my business partner, Rachel, is a chef. Right. So she is right. creating that, and she's creating them to go with the wines that grow in this yeah. region. Yeah, tell Rachel she can bring some food in any time. Do not be <laughs> I, shy about I bringing some food know. for Rex. Yeah, Rex <laughs> yeah. likes to eat. It's, so, a, yeah. it's a yeah. thing, yeah. It's a thing. She's <laughs> and amazing. Stuff. And so a lot going on. We were able to visit a new winery to us that mm -hmm. we hadn't visited before uh, this last weekend. E2 Winery, Family Winery in oh, Lodi. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, very, uh, they had a big barbecue event there going on. Awesome. And uh, Christy from Pair Anything invited us out, and we... You know, got to interview uh, uh, a famous baseball player who now oh, has a wine. Yes, very yeah, good, Greg, Greg Vaughn, Vaughn. and uh, and uh, so it was fun to talk to him about wine and and what they're doing, and uh, and so that was kind of fun. You know, yeah. to Lodi Wine Country, always a good time. Right? Oh my God, there's so many wineries yeah. down there. Um, I feel like I did something in Lodi, but of course I can't remember what it is. Well, I, I think they ask you to forget it. You leave Lodi, they say, please forget what, that what, you visited us. What happens yeah. in Lodi stays, stays in, in Lodi. Lodi. Yeah. 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 Um, well, I did just do the spring VIP weekend on the Placer Wine Trail. Oh, yeah. That looked fun. We made a whole weekend out of it. So we went up Saturday morning, mm -hmm. Farmer's Market in Auburn. Okay. If you haven't done that, do it. It's, right. a, it's a great little farmer's market. And then we just walked around Old Auburn, did a couple of galleries. Oh, nice. We bought food at the farmer's market. We made that food that night at a friend's house. And we stayed at the Gold Hill 
Gardens, okay. which is a bed and breakfast, Sounds right nice. right smack in the middle of the wine trail. It was amazing. All it's right. gorgeous. Just a great view and everything, right? Um, it's a five bedroom house on a huge estate that they are working to turn into a botanical garden. Wow. And lots of, um, if anybody has weddings going on, it's got a, a great venue for that. And they have thought of every detail. It is magical we were picking cherries off the cherry tree what's wrong with having that huh? beer by the pool they have two little um you know when you used to go well i don't know what stores but like kmart or you know those kinds of yeah, stores and yeah. they had those little horses that you put the quarter in oh yeah yeah the carousel like horsey rides yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. they're just like sitting by themselves so they have okay. two side by side you can race horses you told me though that you guys had drank some beer <laughs> and you thought it was a real horse and, and so i thought that that was you know that was what that must have been one some good beer so and, weird we actually did it when we were sober so uh, who knows giddy up. If we wanted giddy up. we tried after a couple of glasses of wine but it was a little too dark so but that's super fun and that's right in the middle of the placer wine trail right and then we uh did the spring vip weekend and went to cristaldi which okay. is a very 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 small winery but up on a hill overlooking the valley oh nice. beautiful uh beautiful place and then paza which is um right also gorgeous with you know seats right in the vineyard you can just hang out in your little barrel right. seat right there yeah. and lone buffalo which is always a favorite right cool right. themed winery and uh, we finished the day at vina castellano right right with a lake oh it's well, always nice i guess technically it's probably a pond but okay. um it it's a pretty magical place it's uh it's certainly a you place have too much fun you that, just have more, too much fun. that was a work day yeah, that's a work day i'm gonna have some wine while that's what uh you know that's what people say to me i had somebody go uh rex is a wino is a hashtag and i was like what took so long <laughs> what took so long like, you're finally. always somebody said to me you're always drinking wine and I said, it's a job, okay? Well, I finally recognized yeah. my skill set. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then we got to go to Grocery Outlet in Dixon and uh, show off their wine. I'm going to be showing off, you know, some great buys Those and some... Grocery Outlets get some pretty yeah, exciting yeah. stuff. And our buddy Joe and, and Krista are hooking us up. Nice. They're like really hooking us up. Nice. And, uh, and so it was really fun to kind of go to Grocery Outlet. And just see some of these deals that they have, which are truly amazing oh, yeah. in my in my mind. It is. And uh, you know, you, every once in a while, there's a steal there, yeah. and you're like, "You sure I don't have to give you more money for this <laughs> bottle of wine?" And so uh, that was a lot of fun. The Dixon Grocery Outlet. It's brand new. It's nice. uh, only been going about nine months. Oh wow! So the store is sparkling. Drop by, check it out. Well, I'm actually yeah. going to Vacaville later today, so okay. I'm gonna it's, I'll swing by yeah. Dixon on the easy, way home. Easy exit. Yeah. Easy exit right Love there. It. Boom and. Uh, what North First Street? That so. place always. It doesn't matter which one I go into. I'm mm -hmm. always surprised by the by yeah. the selection that they have. And yeah. I found out some secrets of how they get the wine, which I'm going to share later this week. Very nice. Yeah, because I wanted to Teaser. find out. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to find out. You know, how do they come up with these great deals? And yeah. it's exactly what I thought. They sneak in late at night. <laughs> it's exactly what I thought. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> but, Inside secrets of the trade. Right. The grocery outlet secrets. You want to know. And, Love it. Uh, so that was fun. That was yeah. kind of fun. That was kind of different than, you know, just going to a winery. Right. And, and kind of seeing a, a retail side to sure. uh, some budget wines that yeah. you get a great deal on. Right? Yeah. The yeah. Tuesday night. Sure. Tuesday night wine or your DoorDash wine.